Oh, how can we love God? Oh, hallelujah. I, I was going to stop in, in, with number seven, but I want to go with the number eight. I've got a little more to say. I also want to pray before we close this out. I want My daughter Victoria is needing, needing prayer. She has a very serious need, a heart condition. But I want us to pray in just a moment here. But how, how can we love God, Pastor, when we, can't, when, when we can't love each other? How can you and I claim to love God when we don't love each other or won't love each other? If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear where we hear from. The White House, the church house, in the woods, in our car, in the bathroom. Where will he hear from? He said, I'll hear from heaven. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, then will I hear from heaven, will forgive their sin, will heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Pastor, you and I have got to get back to God. We've got to. Time is short. There's a mandate in the body of Christ, not only to the body of Christ, but to the heads of the church of Jesus Christ, the born again by the blood of Jesus, to repent. It's a serious call that's going out. To the body of Christ, yes, but also to the leadership in the body of Christ, to the pastors, the preachers, the evangelists, that we must repent of our sins. Turn away from our sin. Turn away to God. Turn away from sin to God. Repent of our sins and turn to God. Now, I said it better. That's what I meant. We don't turn from God. We don't turn away from God. That's a problem now. That's why we're in trouble. That's why the church is in trouble. That's why the America is in trouble. That's why the world's in trouble. Because you and I, Pastor, have walked away from God. We have fallen out of love with Him. Well, we say, oh, and we're saying, oh, how I love Jesus, but it's a lie, and you know it's a lie. You know it's a lie. We need, we need, we must repent. We've got to, if we're, if we're going, if we're going to be what God calls to be. If we're going to miss hell and gain heaven, Pastor, you and I have got to repent. Our, our wives and children are suffering. Our, 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 the body of Christ is suffering because of our sins. You can say, no, that's not true. No, I have to say this in love. You're a liar. If you think that's not the truth, you're a liar. People, when Jonah ran from the call of God, you can read it in the book of Jonah, when God called Jonah to go to Nineveh, and he wouldn't go, what he was really saying, let them all die and go to hell. Let them all die and go to hell. And what they were facing and suffering, the weakness that, they, that was upon them, was because of a stubborn, rebellious man of God who would not preach the Word of God and show them and warn them of their sins. Let's pray. I want you to pray with me. I want to lead us in a prayer of repentance. A prayer that will be true from the heart. A, a, a cry from the heart. Not just to cry from our lips, but to proceed from our heart in true repentance to God. Let's pray. Repeat after me, Pastor. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you now in Jesus' name. I have sinned, and I am living in sin. I have said some things, done some things, doing some things, watching some things, hearing some things, touching some things touching some things, going to some places I shouldn't go. My life is wrong. My life is sinful. And here and now, according to thy word in Second Chronicles 7.14 and according to 1 John 1.9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Right here and now, I repent of my sins. I lay aside the weight and the sin which does so easily beset me. And I lay it aside and I run with patience the race that's set before me through the blood of Jesus. Cleanse me now. Wash me. Forgive me of all of my sins. Forgive me of the things I've said, thought, and done. Forgive me where I've gone that has not pleased you. I repent. I clean house today. 
I take what's in my home physically and I get rid of it. Any magazines, any videos, any TV programming, anything, any relationships that's sinful and wrong, right now I repent of it. Any drinking, any smoking, any anything that's not right that harms my body, that's a stench in your nostrils, I repent of it now. I give it to you and through and by the blood of Jesus Christ, forgive me now. I lay it aside, I lay it at the altar, and I build me an altar from this day onward. I will seek your face. I will put you first. I will seek to know you as I've never known you. Forgive me. Forgive me, Father, in Jesus' name. Cleanse me from all of my sins. Through and by the blood of Jesus Christ, I accept your forgiveness in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, glory. Hallelujah. You know, we had a... My wife and I, on her side of the family, she had, I think it's her niece, her, her name is Candy. She got saved, was able to lead her on the phone, and I was able to pray with her, and, and she gave her heart to Jesus. You know what she told us, told Tammy uh, and me, she said, I, I feel clean, I feel light. You know, that, that, that sin, that burden of sin was lifted away from her soul, amen. And I know that some of you, as I have, I just feel so clean and washed inside. I know it's not by feelings, by faith. I understand that. But boy, I tell you one thing. I love to feel my salvation. I love to feel the cleansing blood of Jesus. Amen. Pastors, I want you to pray for my daughter, Victoria, and body of Christ for those listening. I want you to pray for my daughter, Victoria. She's supposed to have a, an operation uh, March the 10th in Charlotte, North Carolina, at uh, Carolina Medical Center. It's the uh, Levine Children's Hospital there in Charlotte. And she's supposed to have a heart surgery, open heart surgery. But I'm believing God that Jesus will do the surgery. I'm believing that Jesus Christ himself will step into that situation even right now. And that he will heal Victoria Robertson. Would you pray with me now? Let's pray for her, Victoria. Her name is Victoria. Father, in Jesus' name, we come to you now by faith in the name of Jesus, Lord, asking God that you would heal my daughter, your daughter. She's a child of you, Father. She's a child of God. Asking that you would go right now and heal Victoria Robertson, God, that from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, that you would give her a new heart vow, give her a new heart. From this moment on, I receive her healing now in Jesus' name, that when she goes back to the doctor, that they say they'll go in, they'll, they'll take a look-see, they'll put her to sleep, and they'll go down her esophagus, and they'll look around with the light. Lord, let them see a brand new heart vow, a brand new heart. In Jesus' name, I receive it by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Victoria is healed in Jesus' name. And Father, touch every other pastor there, everyone that needs a healing in their body, whether it be spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, materially. Father, bless them. Bless them. In Jesus' holy name, I ask it all. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, pastors, I really enjoyed this. I hope that this has been a blessing to you and a help to you. I hope that you prayed the prayer and meant the prayer you prayed. Amen. I would love to be able to come to your church and minister in word or in song. I want to give you our email address or web. It's www.onewayministries81.com. That's www.onewayministries81.com. And you spell one way is spelling, you know, not number one, but one, O-N-E-W-A-Y, Ministries. Again, www.onewayministries.com. Amen. Uh, excuse me, let me go back to that. www.onewayministries81.com. Phone number is 704-605-6540. Six oh five six five five one. Give me a call, would you? Would you please call me? Would you please email us? Amen. Go on there and check out our website. And pastors, please pray for us. Please pray that God would help us to be faithful, that God would help us to keep on the fire line, to be good soldiers of Jesus Christ, preaching the truth. Amen. Winning souls. Amen. Fight the good fight of faith, as Paul said. Also, please, would you go on there on our, on our PayPal account? Would you please help us? Would you stand with us either weekly or monthly? Would you help us, Pastor? We need your help financially to take this gospel to all the world. May God richly bless you, and I love you. You are my brother. You are my sister, and I love you with the love of Jesus, and I love you. God bless you very much. Until next time.